They mocked her, laughed behind her back and belittled her every chance they got. She was just a black cleaning lady in their eyes, unworthy of their time or respect. But what they didn't know was that she held the power to turn their world upside down. And when the time came, they never saw it coming. Today, we'll take you inside the story of how one woman, ignored and underestimated, fired the very people who mocked her. What happens next will shock you. Stay with us, because this is one story you won't want to miss. Nancy Walker had worked at Titan Industries for years. Every day, she pushed her cleaning cart through the shiny doors, her faded red shirt blending into the background as the powerful managers and executives walked past without a second glance. They never said hello, never looked her in the eye. To them, she was invisible. Greg Summers, one of the senior managers, was one of the worst. Every morning, as Nancy cleaned the boardroom, Greg made sure to remind her of her place. Don't forget to clean thoroughly, Nancy, he said with a smirk, his voice dripping with disdain. We've got important business here, and we don't need any distractions from your work. His colleagues chuckled, feeding off his cruelty. Nancy? She was just the cleaning lady. Just another background figure in their world of high-stakes deals and endless meetings. But while Greg and his colleagues laughed, Nancy was silently watching. And what they didn't know, what they couldn't possibly have imagined, was that Nancy had been playing a long game, and the day of reckoning was fast approaching. It was the day of the annual review at Titan Industries, the biggest meeting of the year. Robert Mason, the CEO, had flown in from Los Angeles, and every executive was on edge. Today was the day that determined their futures. Promotions, bonuses, even job security. It was all on the line. The tension in the air was palpable. Nancy was in the boardroom early that morning, cleaning the windows and wiping down the tables like she always did. But today was different. Today, Nancy wasn't just there to clean, she was there to make her move. As the executives filed into the room, Greg Summers made his usual snide remark. Better not leave any streaks, Nancy. This is an important meeting, and we don't need you messing it up. His colleagues laughed, but Nancy remained calm, as she always did. She had heard it all before, but what Greg didn't realize was that his mocking words would be his last at Titan Industries. The boardroom doors swung open, and Robert Mason entered, commanding the room's attention with his usual confidence. The executives fell silent, all eyes on him, ready for the meeting to begin. But something unexpected happened. Robert's gaze drifted away from the table of senior managers and landed on Nancy, who was quietly standing in the corner with her cleaning supplies. Nancy, he said, his voice warm and knowing, I think it's time. The room froze. Confused glances were exchanged. Why was the CEO addressing the cleaning lady? Greg Summers felt a sudden chill run down his spine. Nancy walked to the center of the room, and for the first time, the executives truly saw her. She wasn't just the cleaning lady, not anymore. Robert Mason turned to the stunned managers. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Titan Industries' majority shareholder, Nancy Walker. The room erupted into gasps and shocked whispers. Greg Summers' face went pale. The woman he had belittled for years, the woman he had mocked just minutes earlier, was the most powerful person in the company. Nancy's voice was calm but filled with authority. For years, I've watched how this company operates. I've seen the arrogance, the disrespect, the way people are treated. You all thought I was invisible, but I've been here all along. She paused, letting the weight of her words sink in. The senior executives, who had once seen her as nothing more than a background figure, were now hanging on her every word. They knew that everything had changed. Nancy continued, her tone calm but sharp. I've quietly been acquiring shares, and today I hold the majority. From now on, things will be different around here. Greg Summers, still reeling from the shock, tried to speak. But Nancy, Nancy cut him off, her voice cold. You've created a toxic environment in this company, Greg. You've belittled people, treated them with disrespect, and today, that ends. Greg's mouth opened, but no words came out. He had always seen himself as untouchable, the kind of manager who could say and do whatever he wanted without consequence. But now he was the one standing on the edge of a cliff, and Nancy was about to push him over. You're fired, Greg, Nancy said, her voice firm, effective immediately. The room was deathly silent. 
Greg, the man who had always walked with arrogance and power, was now a shell of himself, his face pale, his hands trembling. He had lost everything in an instant. But Nancy wasn't finished. She turned to the rest of the room, her gaze sweeping across the senior executives who had, until this moment, believed themselves to be the rulers of Titan Industries. This company has been running on arrogance and disrespect for too long, Nancy said her voice carrying the weight of years of observation and patience. From today forward, respect will be at the core of everything we do. If you can't live by that, you'll find yourself following Greg out the door. The senior managers sat in stunned silence, unable to process the shift that had just occurred. Nancy Walker, the woman they had ignored and dismissed for years, was now the one holding all the power. And they knew, without a doubt, that the company would never be the same again. The executives shifted uncomfortably in their seats. They had spent years treating people like Nancy as invisible, never once considering the possibility that she could rise to such power. The silence in the room was thick with tension, and the realization began to sink in. The balance of power had been completely overturned, and there was no going back. One of the managers, David Harris, cleared his throat, trying to regain his composure. David had worked closely with Greg, and had always treated Nancy with the same disdain. But now, seeing the shift in the room, he knew he needed to say something. He couldn't remain silent any longer. Nancy, David began hesitantly, I didn't know, I didn't realize you had. Nancy held up her hand, cutting him off. David, you didn't realize because you never bothered to look. You never saw me. None of you did. David sat back in his chair, his face flushed with embarrassment. He knew there was nothing he could say to fix what had already been done. Nancy's voice softened, but it still carried the weight of authority. It's not just about me. This company, Titan Industries, has been built on the backs of people like me. People who work behind the scenes, people you don't see. And those are the people who make this company what it is. It's time you start treating them with the respect they deserve. The room was still. No one dared to challenge her. No one even knew how to respond. Nancy had taken the stage, and there was no turning back. Nancy's words had planted the seeds of change, but this was only the beginning. Over the next several weeks, Titan Industries underwent a transformation like no one had ever seen. Nancy took an active role in reshaping the company's culture, ensuring that respect, fairness, and collaboration became the core principles of the business. Greg Summers was gone, and with him, the toxic environment that had plagued the company for so long. His departure sent a clear message. No one was above accountability. David Harris, who had once dismissed Nancy's presence, began to see things differently. He watched as Nancy led the company with a quiet confidence, making decisions that weren't just about profits, but about the people who made Titan Industries thrive. And it wasn't just David who noticed. The entire company began to shift. Employees who had once been too afraid to speak up now felt empowered. The walls of arrogance and entitlement were crumbling, and in their place, a new era of respect was taking root. Nancy continued to oversee the transformation, but she never lost sight of where she had come from. She still wore her faded red shirt, still walked through the hallways with the same quiet determination. But now, when people passed her, they greeted her with respect. The woman who had once been invisible was now the most visible person in the company. As Titan Industries continued to grow under Nancy's leadership, the story of her rise to power became legendary. People across the company, and even beyond, began to see her as a symbol of perseverance, of quiet strength, and of the power that comes from knowing who you are and never letting others define your worth. Nancy Walker's story was a reminder to everyone that power doesn't always come from the top. Sometimes, it comes from the people you least expect. And when that power is revealed, it can change everything. What would you do if you were in Nancy's shoes? Have you ever been underestimated, only to prove everyone wrong? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to tell us where you're watching from. See you in the next video.